Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, let's expand the loot a bit, shall we? But before we do anything else, we need to change research. Currency is 50% done and we got a trade route incoming in two turns. So how about we do construction? And we can build a water mill, in fact we are already building a water mill. We can also get ancient walls to boost engineering. Let's maybe do that. We'll get walls in our second city. And I think that's about it. We need to start another city or two. And then we can go back to military recruitment. At least that's the plan. Funny thing is, we only have one modifier with Australia and it's positive. So yeah. Cyrus doesn't like us, however. Minus five because of first impressions. Yeah. Well, whatever. You know what we could do? We could capture a city-state. I think we're going to do that. Australia already did it. So we might as well. Not to mention one of the other AIs will probably take the city-state if we don't. Or at least that's what happens very frequently. And I see that hasn't changed at all. So let's just go and attack that one. And we can explore some more with our scout. Alright then. So there's the trade route. I think we'll connect our own cities first. And build a road between them. Yeah, I think so. What are the other options? There aren't a whole lot of options, honestly. Alright, let's build a road then. We can build it like this. Alright, good enough. In having great and that gives us currency boost. In having few wants. Three turns to finish water mill and ten turns to get ancient walls. How many techs does Australia have? Let's see. 20. Okay then. Cyrus has 19 and Poland has 15. We could go after Cyrus instead and try to stay friendly with Australia. That's a possibility. We'll see how it goes. First, let's capture the city-state. Might not be a bad idea to get a catapult or something like that. But I don't think we really have the time for that. Probably not, no. Alright, we should probably kill their units first. Before we attack the city itself. There's the water mill. One more turn. Alright, well, let's declare war, shall we? Yes, let's. Shouldn't be too hard to take the city. I guess we'll find out. We should be able to surround it without any problems. And we need to kill that archer. Alright, next. We can bring our own archer as well. It's not like he has anything better to do. He does not. They do also have a crossbowman. Good to know. Right, let's kill this archer. On the next turn. And house production. We should probably grab a settler. Alright, settler it is then. Everything else can wait. Unless we want a granary first. We could grab a really quick granary. That's only three turns. Sure, let's do that then. And kill the crossbowman. That might take a moment. Yep. Not attacking the barbarian with my scout. <laughs> that would be a really bad idea. 
We got another promotion. This will be nice for unit promotions, if nothing else. Alright then. So let's back up a little bit. We can kill the crossbowman. As the warrior. There, more great general points. I don't think we will get a great general anytime soon, but we are getting points. So I assume we'll get one eventually. I have a feeling this will take a while, but I guess we'll see. The archer won't do a whole lot of damage, but I suppose it's better than nothing. The four Barbarians. Blocks of the universe are well, that will have to water, wait, we got gravel, better things to do. And vinyl. Construction research is done. So we could get a siege tower if we want to. Not sure if we really have the time for that. Let's get started on apprenticeship. And we are going to need builders. So after the wall, I would say. I think. We aren't researching engineering just yet. Actually, yeah, let's get the builder first. And walls after. We could get a builder in three turns in our capital, but I really want that settler out ASAP. So settler first and builder after. This will not be a whole lot of damage, but it will be decent experience. Promotion and let's maybe heal up. Maybe stay out of range of the city. That sounds like a good idea. Alright, we need to surround the city. That will take a moment. Next. They might recruit another unit for defense. We need to watch out for that. Is superior to opulence. We got defensive tactics. What's next? Can we boast anything easily? We will probably build an encampment. In fact, we should build an encampment at some point. I don't think we'll be building a world wonder anytime soon. So let's just get drama and poetry. That works. So, move in, and now the city is under siege. Okay, then. This will still take a while, however. Go back and heal up. Our settler will probably need an escort. I'm thinking we'll settle a city somewhere in this area. Before Cyrus does it. And he will do it if we let him. Do we want to change any policies? How much are we paying for unit maintenance right now? Five gold per turn. Yeah, I think we'll keep conscription. We'll keep 30% production bonus towards builders. I don't think I'm going to change anything. We could get plus 50% towards settlers. And that would speed it up instead of urban planning for now. Alright, sure, let's get that. That will save us two turns on settler construction. Works for me. So, back to city siege. Yep, this will definitely take a while. <laughs> I don't really want to attack across the river, because that's usually a bad idea. Let's maybe not do that. But we obviously need to do damage. Let's swap these two guys. That should be a little bit better. Alright, sounds good. We need to improve our income. Yeah, Cyrus already denounced us. He thinks we're a warmonger. <laughs> Australia declared war on us first. Yeah, and Australia did the same, even though he was the one who declared war on us first. And he conquered a city-state first. He's a bigger warmonger than we are, as far as I'm concerned. 
So, yeah. <laughs> it's good to see that didn't change at all. Anyway, back to City Siege, I suppose. It seems trying to get friendly with the AIs is just as pointless as ever. Now, let's maintain this siege, but I want to be not across the river. There. And we can attack with our melee guy on the next turn. Settler is almost done. What do you want? Yeah, whatever you say. We still need to meet some other AIs, but that's kind of low priority at the moment. Hey, you there, can you get the heck out of here? Can't you see we're busy? Okay, we can use the cavalry. He's getting close. We might be able to take it on the next turn. I think so, yeah. Should be doable. That city will give us a nice boost. Exactly what we need. So, let's do this. There is one more city-state to the east. We could take that one. I would prefer to keep the science bonus from Geneva, so I don't think I'll be conquering that. It seems unlikely anyone will conquer Geneva, they don't have easy access to it. Right, let's take the city already, shall we? I think we can do it right now. Yeah, we can do it. It's ours. There, nice one. Obviously keep the city. And let's have a look. Minus two amenities. First, we need to repair everything. Let's maybe start from that. Water mill first, then monument, and then granary. And once we're done with all that, we'll see what's going to be next. We are going to need another campus, and this will be a decent city for a campus. So I'm thinking that is going to be next. Because we really need to catch up on science. Settler is almost done. We'll use the scout as escort for now. It's better than nothing. Here's another AI. Minus 8 and minus 15, really? Okay, whatever you say. Not much point sending a delegation in that case. Unknown reason, alright. Whatever. <laughs> Create escort. And builder is next. We'll switch from apprenticeship to something else. Once we get 50%. Alright then. And we could consider going to war with either Australia or Cyrus. I think taking a city from Cyrus might be a little bit easier than taking a city from Australia. But Australia might attack us while we're away attacking Cyrus. Still, this city would be pretty easy to take, I think. It's not very well protected by terrain. While these mountains will make our job of attacking Australia much harder. Right, where exactly do we want the city? We could go for a coastal city, that's not a terrible idea. We don't actually have one yet. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We could also get pearls. Which we obviously don't have yet. Yep, I think we'll do that. So, 50% apprenticeship. Let's switch to engineering. We will finish city walls in 5 turns, and we'll also get 50% engineering in 5 turns, so that's good timing. 
There's the builder. We need a few mines to get apprenticeship boost. So that's what we'll use him for. Let's have a look. This guy can get a few mines around our capital. We don't have that many hills around here, unfortunately. We also don't really have enough gold to buy any tiles. Well, okay. We do have three hills around our capital, so we'll just use that builder to get apprenticeship boost. Yep, Nubia already denounced us. Why am I not surprised? So basically everyone hates us. Because you know, it's fine for the AI to conquer city-states, but not for you. And it's fine for the AI to declare surprise wars. But they will all denounce you the moment you do the same. This style doesn't belong to us. No, it does. Faster. Oh great, scout. Right, let's send a few units back north. Preferably the ones that are healed. And deal with that barbarian. There has to be a barbarian camp somewhere nearby. Probably to the northwest. If I had to guess. Alright. So, which tile is the city going to be on? I'm thinking this one. It will be far enough from our capital to not cause too much overlap. We will get the pearls. We'll also get rice, cattle, citrus. Also the cattle to the north. Rice to the north. Yeah, this is good enough. That's going to be the city. And there's still one more decent location in the middle. We should probably settle that before Cyrus does it. So here's the city. That also gives us sailing boost. So that is actually useful. And we'll start with a monument. 30 turns. That's a lot of turns. Right, time to get mines. We need three mines to get our boost. We got two more uses on this guy. We should probably use him for the city states that we just captured. Yep. We can get a quarry right here on the stone. Let's go get that scout before he gets any funny ideas. Alright, what's next? We need an encampment, I think. We definitely need an encampment somewhere. But where? None of these locations are too good. Not really. On top of the hill? We kind of need a mine over there, I'm just saying. We can remove the forest, but then I'll need an extra builder. Not too happy about that. The encampment can also wait. We could get a commercial hub. In fact, yeah, let's get a commercial hub, because we need to improve our income. We are barely making any gold. If I recruit any more military units, we'll go into the negatives. And we don't want that. Alright, let's see if we can scout anything else. Probably not, not without open borders. Here's the Nubian city. We could also attack Nubia if we want to. We have options, they all hate us anyway. So it hardly matters, honestly. So, how's the research? Seems fine. Another mine, and then one more. And that will give us apprenticeship. And once we finish engineering, we'll probably grab at least one catapult. 
I have a feeling we'll need it if we want to capture cities quickly. Can't quite kill him on this turn. Okay, one more mine, and that will be enough. Engineering should finish on the next turn. We got two more builds on this guy. We can grab a farm and also a quarry. Sounds good. Normal people believe that if and it there's ain't engineering. Broke, don't fix it. Engineers believe that if it ain't broke, it doesn't We got 14 techs. What about the next Civic? Build two campus districts. Yeah, we will be doing that. So let's get started on recorded history. In fact, how about we do it right away? It will only be plus one, which is not super amazing. Well, the best location would be this one, but we don't actually own that tile yet. Could also build it here. That would do. 24 turns. Alright, let's grab it right here. It will take a while, but we kind of need it. As for our next research. Build three different specialty districts. Let's grab sailing, that's only two turns. And I suppose we need it by now. If we want to get the pearls at any point. Okay, one more mine. As tempting as it is to improve the wine. That will have to wait. We'll just need to get another builder. Do we want to change our policies? Yeah, we don't need colonization anymore. I think I'll go back to urban planning. That will help our newest city. And we'll keep 30% boost towards builders, because we need at least one more builder in the near future. Okay, sounds good. In fact, we are recruiting a builder right now. In our city to the north. Oh hi, more barbarians. Well then. Fancy seeing you guys here. But we are prepared this time. We should probably get rid of that barbarian camp. With all these mountains blocking the way, Australia is not going to do it. Maybe bring one more guy. Okay. This might get a little bit annoying. Perhaps we should back up slightly. Okay, let's back up slightly. I'll bring the archer too. Next. Vessels large. They are pretty aggressive. More, but little boats should keep near shore. I think they might pillage our resource. Not sure if I can prevent that from happening. I don't think I can, no. I can't kill either of these guys. Nope. Yeah, okay. Let's wait one turn then. Maybe even back up into the city. What's next? We could get started on mathematics. Also, machinery. Getting free archers is easy. Let's maybe work on that right away. 
one more archer here and one archer in our capital that will do that will give us machinery boost I guess our luxury is about to get pillaged. Oh great, another horseman, really now? That is slightly annoying. Can we kill at least one? Sort of. It's a little bit dangerous, but should be fine. We might lose this guy, but we have to kill them. Can't just sit around and wait. Okay, we are fine. But that's a lot of horsemen. <laughs> Time to back up. And get our unit out of here. This is going to be very annoying to deal with. And we're taking a lot of damage when attacking them. Mostly because they have higher base strength. Well, they have same base strength, but they have higher total right now. Alright. I mean, that's all I can really do. We can bring our other guy, but that will take a while for him to get there. And they just keep spawning units, come on now. Yeah, okay, that's four barbarian units now. I really don't like that part. Still not enough to kill him, apparently. Alright, he's at like one health right now. Because why not? Hey Australia, why don't you help us over here? I think we're going to lose the archer. Another one is coming. If I attack right now, I will lose the unit, but I can't just leave the horsemen over there rampaging through our territory. We have to kill them. And even more barbarians. I like how they are a bigger threat than the actual AI. That part hasn't changed at all. It's still exactly the same. I can't get my mine either. At least not until we deal with the barbarians. They are spawning units faster than I can recruit them. Here's the archer, not that he's going to do a whole lot. There, that's a kill. We got one more guy incoming. I can't leave with the worker just yet. Let's switch research. We can get started on mathematics. and get a trader. Alright, one more archer is coming, that will give us the boost. Would be nice to get apprenticeship already. There's another builder. Might not be entirely safe to leave the city just yet, I'm just saying. That barbarian camp really needs to go. Persia denounced Nubia. Yeah, they are denouncing each other as well. Friendship is overrated, clearly. Here, he's down. We got one more, and then the actual barbarian camp. However, I'm going to make a cut here, 
and continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching, let me know what you think about the current state of Civ 6 so far. I got my own thoughts, as you probably figured out by now. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.